Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am discussing the best value luxury trends to buy right now. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really only interested in buying luxury items which I know are going to last me a good long while. For obvious reasons, we are still in lockdown here in the UK. We do have a reopening date now, which I am so excited about, but even so, any luxury items that I'm going to buy, I want to make sure that one, they're versatile enough for me to get a lot of use out of, so really getting that cost per wear down, hitting trends and still looking very kind of on point, but also being classic enough that I know they're going to last me a decent amount of time. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video does continue on my collaboration with MyTrees.com, who I have partnered with many times before. They are always the ultimate place to buy luxury goods for me. I love everything from their stock selection to the packaging, customer service, everything is always so amazing. And everything that I'm featuring here today is available from MyTreesa. So I will include links to everything in the description section if you did want to check anything out. So first up is the bias cut skirt and what I love about the bias cut skirt is yes it's very on trend but I also think it's very classic as well. Bias cut skirts are nothing new, they've been around since the 90s and I'm sure before that as well but that's when I first remember them getting really popular and if you find the right one I think they can be so wearable and just instantly chic and elevate your whole look. And best of all, I do think they can be fantastic winter to summer pieces. The one I have here, which is from Max Mara, I got, I think it was autumn of last year, and I wore it in autumn, I wore it in winter, and I'm fully planning on wearing it in spring, summer as well. I do think it's an item which, yes, it can be super fancy. You know, I actually wore this on Christmas day. I just teamed it with a white fluffy jumper and some jewelry, but you can also really easily team it with a white t-shirt, a camisole, a bodysuit if you want to. If you like teaming your skirts with sneakers, you can do that too. You know, it's a piece that is very versatile and something you can wear all year round. And it is an instant mood booster. Like I love the fact that as soon as I put this on, I just felt instantly so much more pulled together. But at the same time, it's a very, very easy thing to wear. You know, you don't have to strap yourself in or anything like that. It's literally just pull on, you're good to go. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's clearly a bestseller for Max Mara as well. They have now released a beautiful kind of periwinkle blue shade. And it is so stunning. They also do the champagne color. They have one in black. Just so many beautiful shades. And for me, this is just such a great clothing piece. I'm not always that happy to invest in clothing. You know, I much prefer to spend my money on accessories, shoes, bags, that sort of thing when I am looking at luxury labels. But this skirt was 100% worth the money and I'm so pleased I got it. Next up are neutral colored bags. And I think if there's one category which is a complete fail safe option, it is neutral colored bags. They are never gonna go out of style. They're always gonna be popular, always really in demand. So if you did wanna treat yourself to something, maybe you have a birthday coming up or you just wanted to treat yourself to something nice, but you're worried about things going out of style, then a neutral colored option, you're just not going to be able to go wrong with. And obviously neutrals really range right from, you know, blacks and rays right through to lighter colored nudes. I always like my lighter shades just because even in winter I find that a lighter colored bag can really brighten up an outfit so I definitely gravitate more towards lighter colors. One of my favorite bags which I am most looking forward to using when we reopen is my mini Jody from Bottega Vanessa. I haven't had a chance to use this yet. I have been using my other bags but the bags that I have been using I've really been able to wear kind of crossbody and just are a little bit more practical whereas I mean I'm not taking this to the grocery store which is the only place I'm going at the moment um but as soon as we're opening back up I can't wait to use this I think it's so so beautiful I have been getting a lot of questions about the exact color I don't know the exact shade because I believe Bottega have actually changed the neutral color um but I will link the exact one I have down below it is a beautiful beautiful color it is so gorgeous a really lovely nude and I just think this is the cutest, dinkiest bag. But regardless of whether you go for something a little bit more out there like this, or if you go for, you know, a beautiful nude Lulu or whatever your style is, I think a neutral colored bag is just a complete fail safe that you're never gonna be able to go wrong with. 
Next up are statement belts and I really believe that the statement belt is a complete unsung hero of a carefully curated wardrobe. I think they can be so useful and if I was rebuilding my luxury collection from scratch I'd get a few key handbags and then before I even looked at shoes or SLGs I would be going for a statement belt because it's such a simple thing. The price point is often lower than some SLGs and it can completely transform your outfit and it can do that with a whole wide array of different outfits you know it can be teamed with everything from a coat to jeans to skirts and dresses you know the styling options are really really limitless and I definitely would not be without mine two of my favorites my YSL Saint Laurent belt right here this is if you prefer yours to be a little bit more subtle this one has just been restocked as well. The white one was out of stock for the longest time and they've just brought it back in. I love this thing. I love the fact that it just adds a little bit of detail, but unless you're looking closely and paying attention, it isn't kind of too flashy or in your face. And it's just the most useful accessory, especially during the summer months. If I am just wearing, you know, a simple dress or a pleated skirt, I just want to make it look a little bit more special. This is 100% what I'm reaching for. If you did want something a little bit bigger and bolder though, I do have my Valentino belt here, which I also love and I think is so gorgeous. This one definitely makes more of a statement than the Saint Laurent one. It's not nearly as subtle, but I do think it's absolutely gorgeous. My Teresa do have new in the nude colored one as well, which I'm thinking about getting because I love that color. I'm not sure if I would keep both of them if I did, but I'm still mulling it over, but it is the most beautiful shade. It is the perfect nude. I always think the Valentino do the most incredible nude colors. They are so pretty and wearable and I just think they're gorgeous. But whatever the shade, I think these are so great. They are reversible as well. You have that amazing, great buckle and I just think these are fantastic and offer so many different styling options. So I would definitely recommend a statement belt if you were looking for a way to update your wardrobe, upgrade some of your outfits and you didn't want to spend thousands on a new bag. I think the statement belt is an amazing way to go. The next trend which I do think is going to have good longevity and already has had good longevity is the puffer bag style. I don't see this trend going anywhere anytime soon and I for one am very happy about that because I love the puffer bag trend but I think a key sign of whether a trend is going to have good staying power is one whether a lot of brands jump on board the trend but also whether brands who are doing the trend start doing slightly different iterations as well because it just means that the style is working for them it's selling well so they want to capitalize that by producing newer versions and the puffer bag is a great example of that my obsession started with my Saint Laurent black one which I got I now have pretty much the entire line or so it feels like this is the mini red one which is so cute perfect if you're a bit more minimal with your accessories and can pare down your items it is quite a small bag but it is so so cute they do the medium version though they do the larger version and key to what I was saying before, they've also released this in a beautiful new tweed style, which I am so in love with. I think it's so beautiful. They have both this beautiful white one as well as this black one, really keeping this kind of style of bag and that puffer element, but introducing new fabrics and textures. And I always think that's such a good indicator that a style is really working well and it is going to be around for a long time. So if you're on the fence about a puffer style and you really love it, then I personally don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of it. The next trend that I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of are pouches. I don't see this one going anywhere anytime soon. And it really ties into the theme of convertible styles that we've been seeing so much of. You know, styles which don't just do one thing. They can go from an easy daytime crossbody bag right through to a simple evening style as well. I always think of the Prada re-edition when I think of those kind of styles as just a bag that's really functional and multi-purpose and you can use for a variety of different occasions 
occasions. I think pouch bags really kind of tie into that in that a lot of the styles, they can be used as just a little wristlet. You can use them inside a larger tote bag, but you can also use them as an evening style as well. My Prada bag, I think, is a good example of this. They have these in a few different colors, so they also have it in black. They have this beautiful bubblegum pink color as well. My one is the red, and I've just been using this as a pouch inside my tote bags. Really functional, it's nylon, so it's really easy to keep clean as well. You can obviously just use it as a wristlet, and I've done that as well if I just wanna grab something really quickly and go. But because of the way you can unhook the strap, it also works really well as an evening bag. I've been using it less as an evening bag. Obviously, we have not been going out, but as soon as we're able to, I think it makes for a really great evening style as well. And regardless of whether it's Prada or any other brand, I do think this is going to be something that we're seeing more of. And I just love the functionality. It does feel like you're getting kind of three items in one and really getting way more bang for your buck and obviously getting that cost per wear down as well. So. I'm a huge fan of this. I love my Prada one. Many other brands do them as well, but I do think this is a very, very fail safe bet as well. And then finally, for my last pick, I have smaller daytime evening bags. And again, this is really linking into the theme of convertible styles that can do it all. You know, not just one style for one occasion, but one item that is really going to be a workhorse in your wardrobe and can go very seamlessly from a day to evening. I think a great example of that is one of my favorite styles. It is the Saint Laurent wristlet. So this actually came as a wristlet. So you do have a little strap right there, which attaches on to the side. You can also obviously take it off and use it as a clutch. And you can also, if you have a spare chain, use it as a crossbody as well. And these certainly aren't cheap, but if you do pick the right item for your wardrobe, you know, knowing how you dress and what you use on a regular basis, then I do think that the right style can be an amazing asset to your wardrobe. And again, you can really get that cost per wear down. I did get a lot of questions about how I attach the strap. Um, so I just attach mine, um, this is just a long gold chain and I have a hook right here and I just attach it to the side. I have a little bit of excess because it is quite a long chain and then I just loop it around. So on this side, it's not actually attached, but it hooks on just fine and it never actually drops. I've used this several times as a crossbody. I've not had any issues and it works really great. And these are like half the price of the normal wall on chain style. So. I love mine, but again, regardless of whether you go for this Saint Laurent option or another convertible style, I think if you do pick the right one, it can just be a total game changer for your wardrobe and actually be a very, very good value for money purchase that is really gonna stand the test of time as well. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As promised, I will leave links to everything I featured down below in the description section. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.